Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Gemini for week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see Gemini. And if you don't already know, I'm a Gemini sun myself. So hey, Gemini. <laughs> love being a Gemini. Love reading for Gemini. <laughs> so let's see message for Gemini for week ahead. Keep in mind, time is fluid and energy can be vice versa. All right, give me the present energy for Gemini, please. Present energy for Gemini. So we have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. Uh, and then we have nothing will come out of this situation. Look at the bigger picture. So Gemini, I feel like believe in the impossible, bottom of the deck. So I see that you are worrying about uh, something, you know, and um, you are like, when will this happen? And I have been waiting for this for such a long time and all of that. So there is some sort of um, mental anxiety that is uh, going on. But I see that you do not have to worry because nothing is going to happen, you know, like that's not going to affect you badly. So you should like probably stop fretting over a situation which might not even happen. So it's like you are already presuming the worst and you are worrying. And that is what this card is saying that nothing is going to happen. So you can just like take a chill pill. And then we have a fiery climax approaches. Some of you, you might be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius. Those are the signs that showed up so far. And then we have a fiery climax approaches. I see that there is a situation which has been dragging for a very long time and you are not getting anything concrete in that, right? And some of you, you are also losing hope. You feel like that's never gonna happen. So this card is asking you to believe in the impossible because there is something which you feel is impossible is going to happen, right? So it's like initially you may experience some sort of bump, you may experience some sort of hiccup and you may feel like, okay, let me just give up. It's not gonna happen. But then this is asking you to look at the bigger picture and that small bump or that hiccup is just like preparing you for the quantum leap, all right? So that is what it is. And I see that your situation is finally going to hit that fiery climax and you are going to like get a clear picture of whatever you have been waiting for and whatever answers you're anticipating for all this while all right so some of you you need to like be more um, optimistic basically <laughs> all right and you have to look at the bigger picture sometimes we just get up get so caught up in in the small things that we miss the bigger picture and we just fret over things that might not even happen all right so that is your message okay what else for my gemini please for week ahead so we have mature man some of you, there could be a mature man who could be of some significance in, in the week ahead. So probably in thoughts. There could be a mature man who might be thinking about your family room. So I see that uh, some of you, you might be spending time with your family. You might be uh, meeting your family if you live away from them. Our family could be of concern, like not bad, like good concern, all right. And then we have mature man. So if you have been looking for help, then probably, uh, you know, like seek help from somebody mature because that's gonna help you. And then we have thoughts. So there is somebody who's in their thoughts about you. There might be somebody who's thinking about you uh, and you feel like this person is not doing that or they are over you or whatever, but that's not true. Like there is definitely somebody who's like, having you on their mind all right so we'll clarify this more in the tarot but that's your message some of you you will hear from somebody and this person is going to uh, start their conversation like hey i was missing you you know the other day i was thinking about you so something like that some of you it could be a mature man in your family who might be thinking you probably your father your grandfather all right so let's see message for gemini we go ahead Gemini, Gemini. Give me a message for Gemini, please. So we have the devil again. Gemini, see, I see that you're constantly in your head about something and you are scared and you are too much in negativity. You know, page of one at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, you are worried about your finances. You're worried about your career. Some of you, you feel like you may not make up in life. I don't know. You're like too much consumed in negative thoughts and that is why this card is here telling you that nothing is going to come out of this situation so 
if you have been overthinking over analyzing and if you like worry uh if your career will sustain in the future or not or if you will like have a good business or not or if you, your business will like flop or something you need to come out of those those negative thoughts because i see that you are already assuming something which may never really happen and uh, you are overburdening yourself so you need to really come out of this negative thought pattern uh it's like you are just unnecessarily burdening yourself all right yes there are one see just when i speak about burden we have the card of 10 of wands jana what the hell is wrong with you you are burdening yourself so much so that it's not even important <laughs> you are like having are you like having these kind of conversations with your own self that uh, i don't know if i'm going to make it in life or not or i don't know if i'll have a good career or not or i don't know if i'll have good finances in life or not i see some of you you're doing that you know you are like too concerned about your stability future finance some of you about your family lot of lot of overthinking happening here some of you you also are uh taking on taking in a lot of responsibility more than you can handle so probably take some time off from your work and take some rest gemini you have been over exerting yourself as what i see what is the advice for gemini here some of you i see that you will be starting a new business but it's like eight of wands see i see that whatever you are worried about you do not even have to because with the eight of wands i see that things are going to not only move forward but they're going to move fast and you will be getting all the good news that you have been experiencing uh sorry all the good news that you have been wanting so things are going to move in your favor all right but the only thing that you have to do is to give up overthinking you are like worried about something which will never even happen four of cups see it's like you are ignoring all the blessings of your life and you are thinking about something which does not even exist like shut the fuck up gemini what the hell is wrong with you stop doing that stop torturing yourself all right gemini you are doing that what else some of you you need to pay attention to opportunities around you you know because there are opportunities around you that you're not paying attention to right now and if you have been worried about your business and career i see that it's going to take off and it's going to be good eight of cups see it's like you are emotionally discontent and you're not even seeing So when you do not see something, it's never be it will never be seen because you did not see it, right? There are opportunities around you. Ace of one at the bottom of the deck. You have a potential of starting something new, or probably there's gonna be a new idea that's gonna come in and it's gonna set your course for the best. But the only thing that you have to do is to look for opportunities around you and not close your eyes to it because right now you're doing that, overthinking, overanalyzing, negativity. toxic thinking pattern you need to come out of that all right all right give me some love messages with gemini please love messages for gemini we have king of wands there could be a fire sign who might be interested in you somebody very very passionate towards you some of you this person could be a combination of fire and water there is somebody who's coming in with the uh, with a love offer towards you very open communication very straight forward communication to a wands shows to me that this person could be living at a distance from you so this could be a long distance relationship happening over phone and skype and all of that i see that somebody is going to make a move towards you if they have been prolonging it for a very long time we have this card of fiery climax approaches and here we see that the climax is happening you know finally things just becoming clear to you and you getting the uh you know overall picture of the situation so i see that somebody uh they have a lot of love for you but their ego is also very big so they have a hard time accepting their love but now this person is going to do it all right because we have the knight of cups so somebody is keeping their ego aside and they are finally like coming towards you making a move give me this person's uh, intentions towards gemini please this is person's intentions towards gemini king of pentacles this person is looking for stability oh somebody is coming in with a lot of love gemini we have the ace of cups with the king of pentacles this person has a lot of emotions to offer you and they are also looking for like a stable conne connection or commitment with you you know this is good somebody is rushing in to communicate and i also see three code cards here so you might also be having options in love if you um if you don't know <laughs> so you are like desirable gemini what is happening give me some more energy about gemini in love king of cups see there are already three kings one knight here so you have options you have many people who have their eye on you 
and uh, I also see that somebody was keeping this connection very very um, like at the edge this person was not uh, making a move like a concrete move but now they want to do that all right so I see that somebody was keeping their options open in the past or probably this person was experimenting with you and they were like I'll see where it goes with Gemini and I don't know if I want this and all of that but this person is now making up their mind that they want you and they want you only all right so that kind of thing you also have a lot of other people who have their eye on you there are multiple people who have their eye on you Gemini you might be going through some sort of glow up period and I see that your looks are kind of going up and up which is also attracting a lot of attention towards you anything else for Gemini please <laughs> ten of cups with the magician you had been manifesting this Gemini so I don't think you'll be surprised at this message because I see some of you you were manifesting for this person to come and give you this confirmation or give you this confession so you are manifesting a confession from somebody and I see you have successfully manifested it see how your connection is proceeding from ace of cups to the ten of cups in this relationship just look at this this is a beautiful connection no fuckboy energy somebody finally makes their mind that they want you and I see that they see that they want this with you and all of this is happening with after a lot of game playing and all of that this person was very in and out of your life in the past quite unreliable also but now they are deciding that you are the one they want to settle for like you are the bitch that they want <laughs> all right what is the advice for Gemini here in this connection so we have the Sun and the ten of Pentacles Gemini you are having best of both the worlds your advice is to be open to receive because universe is smiling at you and I see that uh, keep your ego aside as well <laughs> because some of you you might become overconfident and uh, the ego may come in so don't do that also I see that um, there's like universe is blessing you with a lot of abundance you just need to be open to receive all right also take care of your finances some of you I see that you will be very lavishly spending uh, and then later regretting <laughs> so take care of that and I see that if you have been worried about your money your coins you don't have to because there's a lot of abundance coming in for you I see suddenly things are going to shift for you in your finances as well two of sorts see you have been confused about your money your stability I see that you're coming out of this very beautifully knight of pentacle things are moving in your financial situation right now you are very very paranoid when it comes to your finances but give it some time this is gonna work really beautifully for you things are going to shift very very drastically in your finances all right so let's see message from your romance angel give me the message with Gemini please this could be the one and express your love didn't I tell you this I see that and you have to just let go of your control issues do not try to overly exert pressure in the situation when it's not even required so like let loose and let things unfold in the divine timing and I see that it's gonna unfold just like you were manifesting it because some of you you were manifesting it and see I see that somebody is gonna express their love to you and this person could be the one for you somebody is coming in very hot and very solid towards you you know like no games no no mind games they want you they're gonna express that to you give me the message for Gemini to close off the reading please make yourself your priority first some of you you need to make yourself your priority and you need to believe in divine timing more I want to be alone for a while this is you Gemini see exactly this this is what I was telling you some of you it's like um, you know you're closing yourself to love so it's like you are manifesting love but then you're simultaneously closing yourself so that is your blockage that, that you need to work, up, work upon because right now you're doing that as I, as I said you in your um, advice that you need to be more receptive I'm, I'm, I got scared and built a wall around me so that I don't get hurt see exactly some of you you are so scared of love that it's like you hope for love you manifest love but when the person shows up you, you build a wall, wall around you and then you miss on to opportunities so that is the problem you need to work upon that Gemini otherwise you'll keep on going screwing connections in your life and then it's not gonna be worth it right so yeah there is a very beautiful relationship I see that fiery climax is approaching you you'll be getting the answers that you have been seeking for such a long time and uh, I see somebody is like keeping their ego aside and they're like making a move towards you you also have multiple other people interested in you so it's like you have this whole buffet 
and you can choose who you want <laughs> so that is that and if you have been worried about your finances and business you don't have to because i see things are going to take turn and massively all right but you just need to have a little more patience and persistence so yeah that was the reading hope this has resonated if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye